Hi, and welcome to another quick video about Star Citizen. Now, following on from my previous videos about ways to make money in 3.9, what I wanted to do in this video was give you a little bit of a live gameplay demonstration of what I actually do to make cash in-game at the moment. Um, basically, around the Hurston system, the ECN alerts which spawn around every 10 minutes depending on whether or not you're doing missions in the system um, allow you to make 10k in a very short space of time now doing these missions in succession can net you 50k in the space of an hour or so um, and in combination with uh, doing bounty hunter missions, dependent on your competency as a bounty hunter, could bump that up to 60, 70. Hey, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. So today I thought I would show you a little bit of how I've been making most of the 350k that I've managed to amass in the past patch. Basically, bounty hunter missions around the Hurston system frequent and easy. You've just got to pass the first bounty hunting assessment. Now these can be done in any of the areas, essentially. But I find them best to do around Hurston because they link with the ECN alerts which spawn in the Hurston system. So let's get to it. I've already selected a couple of easy ones to do. I'm rocking a Mustang Alpha at the moment because I've just shifted around my um, patch a little bit. So I thought I'd show you what you can actually do in a Mustang and make money. Now at this point, you've got to open up your Moby Glass, go to your Skyline application, and actually manually set the Quantum Beacon as your route. And hopefully that should mean that when I spool up my Quantum Drive, we have a Quantum Beacon in front of us. Yes, we do. Quantum Travel engaged. So this is most likely to be an oh, a bit of popping there. Contact. It's most likely to be a Mustang Belter. So I'd be interested to know what you guys think of the new quality that I'm playing Star Citizen. Not that I've actually changed the uh, graphical settings, but I've upgraded my graphics card. get a little bit of slowdown because of the missiles but I think this is some kind of specific lack of optimization because the missiles of these Mustang Deltas tend to cause me a horrible slowdown for some reason. So what I normally do is I'll get him to fire off all of his missiles and then I should have the advantage in terms of firepower against them definitely. He's got better armor than I do, but 
I can now maneuver for him in this fully pimped out Mustang Alpha with military grade A coolers. So it seems like this fire is well. Now we go to the kill. So on to the next bounty. And these things just stack up. You can constantly be doing these bounty hunter missions. Which, with a ship that's like laser fit like this, which isn't going to run out of ammo, and you only have to worry about doing repairs, extremely cost effective way of making money. And the easy alert is right over there. Sweet. Quantum travel engaged. So the ECN alerts will generally vary from being one buccaneer to three um, constellation andromedas. And that might sound intimidating, but you can easily deal with them as their NPC ships, and they don't have as big shield and uh, health pools. And we've just got the one puck in there, so we're gonna get paid. 10k and then we shot the bloody Starfarer. The Starfarer will often do half of the work for you on this mission. Just make sure you don't allow the Starfarer to take any damage. Alright, 
So I just wanted to show that as a very quick example of what can be done with bounty hunting and EC and alerts because the combination of these two in the Hurston system seems to be the most productive way of making money at the moment. Um, if you guys like this video then like, subscribe, all that good stuff and thank you very much for watching. Take care.